Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Craft, and this is how to build Terrence the tractor in Minecraft. We're gonna start out with just some real simple things here. We're gonna make sure that our bogey, or sorry, that our wheels are set. Wait, what am I talking about? Make, put your station into build mode. Jeez Louise, don't listen to me. All right, we're gonna grab ourselves a train casing. Some orange local metal. And we're gonna go with the riveted and I think slash as well in some places. And then we wanna go ahead and grab some copycats. We want the copycat bite. We'll grab the copycat panel. And let's kinda just leave that for now. First thing we wanna do is we wanna place down our invisible bogey. Because the cool part about this is, is there are plenty of scenes in the show where Terrence is actually driving on the rails and is able to pull, I think, Annie and Clarabelle in a couple episodes. So it's actually kind of cool. Um, so Terrence is able to, you know, be driven on the rails. And you know what? If we just do that... There we go. Terrence has no problem going in, going in and out of uh, build mode and won't break your, your rails. So perfect. Here's what we want to do first. What we want to do is completely forget exactly how we built Terrence to begin with. Give me one quick second here. All right. I had to go ahead and just take a peek really quickly. Um, this is all just going to be the riveted local metal, so we're going to place a couple of the riveted local metal on either side there. And you essentially just want to place down a metric button of these uh, copycats, copycat bites. And when I say a metric button, I mean literally a ton of these things. So you'll notice here that the bottom row of the copycat bites actually starts um, right here where we've got the um, the bottom of the local metal, I guess, if you want to call it that, um, where the, the wheels normally would sit. So we start from the bottom and we're going to work our way up. We want to do... What is this? Two rows or four rows of the copycat bites, essentially. So you're going to be making yourself two half slabs. Um, it, oh, no, sorry, yeah. A half slab to go on either side, essentially. And you might be thinking, well, I can go ahead and just place these down. That's going to look cool. But you're actually not going to be able to because you won't get that same connective texture effect. So you've got that. I'm just going to quickly place down a couple of things. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this entire thing is full. Your top of Terrence is going to all be orange loco metal. So let's go ahead and fill this stuff in really quickly. Top of Terrence, perfect. Your uh, side is going to be a little bit of a different design. You can use really whatever type of block you want on the inside. What I chose to do was just do this blackstone pillar. Is that what that is? Yeah, ornate blackstone pillar. Because it looks like a little bit of tractor engine pieces. I thought it kind of fit really well with uh, Terrence and everything. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and just fill in some more of these guys. Like so. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. We've got our body for Terrence completely done. Now what we want to do is we want to build Terrence's quote unquote face. And we also need to figure out why these textures aren't connecting. Huh. 
There we go. That's weird. That's really weird. That must be a bug of some sort. Well, it's probably not going to do it for you. So uh, pretend that the top of your Terrence looks just like this. In the middle, you're going to place down your smoke uh, smokestack. You're also going to put down one um, copycat bite right there. You can fill it in with any sort of black local metal that you wish. On the back side, we've got the train control. And then I went ahead and I ran the copycat bites out just a little bit to give a little bit of puff to the outside of Terrence. So we got our, our puff to come out there. And then I went ahead and I just kept placing down copycat block after copycat block after copycat block, so on and so forth. And, you know, just pretend that these are all filled in the same color as Terrence. Essentially, you just, you're going to want to get this shape, though. Like that, on the outsides, or the outer sides, rather, you're going to puff these out so that they're just a little bit sticky-outy. Like that. We're going to place a copycat half layer. Wait, how did I do that? Copycat half layer right here? How does this work here? Oh, you know what? It's gotta go back out like this, and then out like this. That's what we did. And then I just went out a little bit more. So just give yourself plenty of room here. Essentially, what we're doing here is we're making a one, two, three, four, five by three block Terrence. And that's what you're going to want to do is just make sure that you've got five by three with the um, copycat bites there. So we've got the train controls down. We're going to put down our... Um, Wait a second. I think I kind of just messed this all up. But you know, it would not be one of my videos if I didn't mess something really up. And there we go, right there like that. Perfect. And then these actually scoot up just a little bit. So that there, I think that's a, a two clicker. Then we're going to grab a black seat, put that black seat back there. We've got ourselves a copycat half panel with some black on the back there, just to make that the back of that seat black and look a little bit different. I replaced this block with a piece of black local metal. These are these should all be filled in with orange. Like so. Let's just give some color here to our tractor. Perfect. And again, yours is gonna look yours is gonna look different than what mine is doing. Because for some reason it's just being difficult. I don't understand why those connective textures are being like they are. Who knows? But anyway, we're gonna grab a copycat half layer and I'm gonna put that on the back right here and right here. And I'm going to grab a screw link coupler without the headstock and just put that on the back. That's going to be, you know, basically how he pulls coaches if they get stuck in the snow. Now, you're basically done with your Terrence. Oh, yeah, we need to put a face on Terrence here. So we're going to just fill in these guys like this. Perfect. And then we want black and we want white. You can design your face however you want. It's not really a face, this is more like the grill, the engine grill. 
whatever you want to call it. On the bottom side, I did place down a couple of slabs, and um, a way that you can do that is placing them in the beginning, like a smart person, or placing down a separate uh, block and then just placing them on the sides, like you just saw me do. And we've got here another one that just goes in the back. And I did this as just a little bit of a little bit of support. Just to show Terrence having a little bit of um, support onto the wheels sort of thing. Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Like that. And then what I did was you can do a couple of different wheel designs here. You can keep keep going at it with the copycat bites and just gonna make yourself a tread design and filling in the center with uh, with orange copycat bites and just leaving spaces placing some copycat panels on top with the um, orange local metal or you can use the gray the gray metal sheet blocks and run a copycat half panel along the side there as well that is something that you can do so you have a couple of different choices for what type of wheel that you like or that you have that you like rather than what that you want to use. So and you know if you come up with something a little bit different for your Terrence and you want to post it on the Discord and show me, then by all means that'd be great. I'd love to see it. Because I don't um, I think I'm leaning more towards this wheel. But I don't know. So what I'd like you to do in the comments below is comment uh, wheel set A. That's going to be this guy here with the full metal blocks or wheel set B made out of the copycat bites. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below. And what we're going to do really quickly here is we are going to grab some glue and just place down. Oh, never mind. He's already glued. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. Uh, Terrence here is a train and we're just gonna go to work we gotta go to work boys we'll see you guys later in the meantime this has been another amazing build and I appreciate each and every single one of you um, but yeah we will see you this Saturday for RWS Toby until then okay thanks bye